Let's go live to Lara Yamada, who is at the state capitol standing by. Lara. Hi, guys. Well, it looks like things are generally going pretty well here. Um, they've got about 4,500 uh, elections uh, volunteers and uh, officials who are here trying to get things moving as quickly as possible. But all in all, considering everything that's happened in the past few days, they say things are going pretty smoothly. The only thing uh, truly of note at this point is, not surprisingly, because of what happened on the Big Island in the Puna area, there are two districts that are closed and are going to, excuse me, polling places that are closed and will stay closed because of the damage to that area. They just don't want anybody to be put in danger or in harm's way. But an important thing for people to know who are in that area there are about uh, 8,000 people who are registered to vote in those polling places. They say, don't try to make it to another polling place. Don't try to go down to those particular polling places. Again, that's 401 and 402. Polling places 401 and 402 in the Pune district. They're saying, just wait. We're going to give you a chance to vote. It's going to be a mail-in vote. They'll contact you. So they don't want any to be, anybody to be worried about not getting the opportunity to vote, but they say it's just simply too unsafe. So that's the main message they want to get across early on. But in the meantime, they say things are going smoothly, and they're hoping to have those results out like they typically do sometime between 6.30, 6.45. So as the night progresses, we hope to get those numbers coming in. Back to you guys.